left today. Behold the plant. Per usual, the positions, rotations, and scales are randomized, and there's a subtle sway to the animation, but like the thumbnail will probably say, they're interactive or responsive or something like that. If you touch them, they move. the prefab. This is my usual for randomizing animations. Animated objects don't like to be edited on their own, so each leaf has a parent object that gets randomized and that carries on down to the child. All the animations are running from the parent parent object. Just a simple back and forth. It could be a little more staggered so the animations don't restart at the same time. But this doesn't look that bad. Going over to the randomizer code. We need variables for the sprite renderer and a random integer for the sorting layer in Z position. We grab a random number for the sorting layer from 1 to 100. Since these only need to place within 0 to 1 on the Z, the Z position is assigned to that value divided by 100. For this to display properly, the sorting order has to be reversed, so it's subtracted from 100. Give the branches a random rotation. 60 degrees works on this shape. Shift the scale a little with another random range. Finally, use a random value to flip the sprite renderer. Random value gives you a random number between 0 and 1, so the less than 0.5 is a good Boolean randomizer. Let me know. This is what I found when I went looking for one. And that's about it for the branch randomizer. And now for the responsive part. Looking at the parent object, it's got a script called Plant Impactor. It's got one public variable called Base Speed that's used to set the default speed for the swing animation. And if we jump into the code, there's another variable to grab the animator. In start, we get the animator and set its speed to the base speed. Jumping down to the bottom, we have an on trigger stay 2D. All this does is increase the animator speed when it's in contact with the game object tagged player. This got a little weird for me. I originally pulled the movement variable from the player control script and worked it in here, but when I looked at that, the code, it was just assigned to the horizontal axis value. Instead of all the cross scripting work, I just repeated that and added the multiplier to get the speed I was looking for, and got the math f absolute value of that. To be honest, it seemed like it should be jerky with the animation speed just shifting so quickly, but it looks smooth to me. I didn't make the effort to go back and calculate the player's actual velocity like I thought I was going to at the beginning. Jumping back up to the update, I've got an if statement to see if that plant is moving faster than its base speed. If it is, I have a lerp to slow it back down to normal. And that's all there is to it. Look, Mom, I made plants that you can brush up against.
you're still here.